Good morning. Welcome to your next Daily Devo in the Days of Praise Daily Devotional video series. Today we're going to be talking about verse number four in this great hymn we've been talking about the last three days. Today is Wednesday, July 22nd. We're going to be reading, we're going to, the title is Love So Amazing, So Divine. And we're going to be starting with Colossians chapter 1, verse 22, which goes, In the body of his flesh, through death, to present you holy and unblameable and unprovable or unreprovable in his sight. Sorry about that. I, the word was a little blurred. I couldn't tell what, it, what kind of word it was. Sorry about that. So the past three days, we have studied the, the verses of the hymn, when I survey the wondrous cross. And we have seen insights into the sufferings of Christ on the cross for our behalf. The love that led him there. And his bountiful gift to believers. And we are now prepared to consider our response. So in this, this verse, it's our response to, to what, we, what we see when we survey the wondrous cross. Were the whole realm of nature mine that were a present for too small. That were a present for far too small. Love so amazing, so divine. There's the title. Demands my soul, my life, my all. So let me read to you again. So you know. Were the whole realm of nature mine that were a present far too small. Love so amazing, so divine, demands my soul, my life, my all. Mm, that's a pretty good one there. I like that verse. That was pretty good. So, uh, dang, it's easier back. It didn't bother me the last three videos I just recorded. But, but you won't see, you're not seeing this video until today. So, But trust me, I just recorded three videos three other videos with this at the same on the same day so by the time you see this as you're watching this video the other videos are already there so but then the itchies never bother me there but they bother me now so they never seem to and never seem to let let me down they always bother me when I'm recording so so the author Isaac Watts begins verse 4 with a mention of creation and if we were to own it, it would not su suffice as a suitable gift, for he is the creator of all. Colossians chapter 1, 16 and 17. Including the vastness of space, the interest, intricacies of life and earth systems, the mighty spiritual angels, and even the creation of his image in man. And 1 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 6 says, there is but one God, the Father, of whom all are all things, and we in him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by him. So he's the Lord of all. He knows us better than we know ourselves, and yet he loves us so. He doesn't have to, but he does. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he doesn't have to love us. But he chooses to love us. We're not deserving of that. But he chooses to do it anyway. So the most amazing line of the hymn is the final couplet. A fitting response to his love would be a complete offering of one's soul, life, and all. As it says, demands my soul, my life, my all. He's our great creator and the offended judge. He gave up aspects of his eternal essence in order to take up our likeness and die for us. He is our everlasting king. It all focusing in on the cross, the wondrous cross. John 14, 27. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. 
And then in 1 Timothy 1.17, Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Oh, another notification. Sorry about that. I try to turn them off before I do these videos, but sorry about that. <laughs> if you heard a little jingle in the in the recording, it's just just a little uh, notification I was getting. So that was it for that passage. I will I will get to I'm going to get to the to put all four verses together just a second. Let me go ahead and preview tomorrow's video for Thursday, July 23rd. It's called Jesus Christ, Our Creator. And we're going to be reading Colossians 1.16. So, be looking forward to that in that one. And sometimes Tuesday, sometime Tuesday or Wednesday from me recording now, I'll record the next set of videos. So I always always try to record four or five videos at the same time go and get them go and get them set up ready to go so they so I don't have to be worried about posting them every day so they're already posted I just gotta wait for them to go live <laughs> so okay so here's a little bonus here's a little bonus when I survey the wondrous cross, all four verses. When I, verse number one. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, my richest gain I count but loss and poor contempt on all my pride. Forbid it, Lord, that I should boast, save in the death of Christ my God. All the vain things that charm me most, I sacrificed them to his blood. See from his head, his hands, his feet, sorrow and love flow mingled down. Did ever such love and sorrow meet, or thorns compose such rich a crown? And last verse. Were the whole realm of nature mine, that were a present far too small, Love so amazing, so divine, demands my soul, my life, my all. So I hope you enjoyed that, putting putting all four verses together. So that's it for this hymn. Looking forward to the next time I do another hymn. And maybe I'll know the jingle of that one. <laughs> so, so I appreciate you watching. Thanks for watching. And have a great rest of your Wednesday. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you in tomorrow's video for Thursday. Whoever had one has, has a great Wednesday. Stay safe. I appreciate you. I love you. And I'm out.